Hi, and welcome to section three, where we take a look at image segmentation and object detection in OpenCV, where we take a look at segmentation and contours. So what exactly is segmentation? Well, segmentation is a process by which we partition or segment sections of an image into specific regions. And here we have some examples of this. All right, so beginning with this number, this handwritten digits here, you can see the numbers that are written are extracted automatically by some sort of magical algorithm that we'll discuss shortly. Likewise, for the car, you can see everything that looks like basically a panel or whatever is extracted here using some sort of method. Similar for the domino here, each area that's shaded black is extracted, and by extracted, I mean highlighted by the green region here, and that is what we call segmentation. Now, let's take a look at contours. Now, what exactly are contours? Now, if you're familiar with geography, you're probably thinking like mounting or altitude contours. Well, it's sort of similar in a way. However, in computer vision, or at least in OpenCV, we define contours as continuous lines or curves that bound or cover the full boundary of an object in an image. So imagine we have this piece of paper here that was scanned, okay? Now, imagine we wanted to extract this sheet of paper from the background. Now, you probably have seen some things like this before. However, we're going to do this in OpenCV shortly in the next video. But firstly, let me explain to you what's happening here. This region here, called as the object, is extracted fully by some sort of algorithm here that we'll discuss very shortly. And this is called a contour. This green region, this green perimeter or boundary here is called a contour. And they're very important in things like object detection, shape analysis, and a host of other applications that you may or may not need to do in computer vision. So let's discuss the find contours algorithm in OpenCV. So this is an algorithm that seeks to find or locate regions of contrasting intensity, background and foreground type separation, so we can actually highlight the area around it. So generally, the, the contour to be found should be on a white or black background so that it contrasts with the image or object we want to extract. And better accuracy, we can use binary or grayscale images. So before finding contours is applied, you can apply thresholding or canny edge detection, which you'll see shortly. However, these are not strict guidelines. They're more rules of thumb. So you can actually do some experimentation on your own to see what gives you the best performance. It all depends on your read or your image domain that you're looking at. So let's take a look at how contours are represented in OpenCV. So when we use the find contours algorithm, what's going to happen is that we're going to extract several contours from an image. So this is a picture of me here in Norway, and this region here around my shirt, polo, long sleeve polo, is contour. So what's happening here is that this is the first contour in the image that it's found. And how we're going to represent it is that there are points here. So each point here is contour region here, or I shouldn't say region, it's a point along the contour perimeter here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six points here represented from this contour. And OpenCV find contours returns an array of arrays or a list of lists. So imagine this is a list here. We have five contours in here and each contour is actually an array. So an array is stored as a first value in this list. And that array has, or that list has a bunch of X, Y coordinates like this that you will see shortly. So this is just one way to illustrate it. I think it's clearer here than in here. So we'll take a look at this in OpenCV shortly. So now before we move into the code, let's take a quick look at how the CV2 find contours function actually works. So we have three main input arguments into this function. It's the image we're working on, the retrieval mode, and the approximation method. So firstly, before we go into what these arguments are, these two in particular, we need to look at what find contours actually return. So remember I said it returns a list of contours? Well, that's the first argument here. So contours, and then it returns something called hierarchy. And hierarchy describes the child-parent relationships between contours, which we'll discuss in the next slide. That means it's contours within contours if you want to get an idea of what's happening. So now quickly discuss approximation methods before we go into the retrieval mode, which discuss hierarchy which involves hierarchy, I should say. So the approximation methods, they're basically two. Now, if you will use CV2 chain approx none, that stores all the points along the line. So you get, instead of the points of the vertices or the endpoints, you just get all the points, which can be quite a bit if your image is large. So it's a pretty inefficient way of doing this. So I advise you use simple chain approx simple, which gives you the same information. Now let's take a look at the hierarchy, which is discussed in the retrieval methods here. 
So these are the four main retrieval methods we're going to use when we use fine contours. So this is Rashad's for return. So retrieve list retrieves all contours here. Now retrieve external sends only the external or the outermost contours. So imagine we have a list of contours here. Retrieve list will give you all of these here, whereas retrieve external will give you zero, one, and two alone. Now retrieve comp retrieves all the second level hierarchy. Second level hierarchy will mean it'll give two and now three and retrieve tree retrieves all of these in full hierarchy, okay? So what is hierarchy exactly? Now, hierarchy is stored in the following format here. Next, previous first child parent. Now, this is a description of how hierarchies are stored from first to last. So now, as I said, zero, one, two are the first level hierarchies here. Two A is a child of two, that's the innermost contour here. So now that means that, and it's a second level hierarchy. So that means that tree, anything contour tree and below is a child of two. And similarly, four and five are children of tree A. Okay, so that's basically the hierarchy here. So now let's take a look at how we draw contours now in OpenCV. So it's fine to just return contours and get all the coordinates, but if you really want to see what contours your contour algorithm picked up, you're going to want to use cv2.drawContours. So again, that requires the input image, the contours that we returned from the find contours function. This specific contour, which specific contour here relates to which contour you wish to draw. So you can actually have it like contour zero, contour one. If you want to draw all, just use minus one in your argument here. And then you can also do like how we do all the other drawing or creating shapes, color and thickness. So now just to summarize what we've learned, we've learned image segmentation, what are contours, how to find contours algorithm or function works in OpenCV, and similarly, the draw contours algorithm. So now we've discussed enough contours.